So here's what we have is uh, our noise spectral density going from minus BT over to where BT stands for our transmission bandwidth. Okay, and uh, minus B to B it represents our bandwidth of our post detected noise. So this is what appears after we filter it uh, with our post detection low pass filter. And the BT minus BT over 2 to BT over 2 is what we receive at the front end. And after we go through the processing, this is what's left over in terms of noise. So the signal power at the phase modulated demodulator output is calculated as follows, where it's the expectation. And we know that we said this was additive white Gaussian noise, so it has a Gaussian distribution. And we can replace theta squared of t with delta phi max squared multiplied by the normalized version of our signal and hence we have this expression here. The noise PSD at the phase modulated output is governed by this All right, which was just calculated for uh, our power of our noise that we did earlier and this occurs within the transmission bandwidth when we integrate it from minus B to B, okay, so this is after our filtered this part with our low pass filter, and so what's left over is minus B to B. So we integrate that, we have this constant term integrated, and hence we have basically 2B, since this expression for GNFF, G sub N sub PM, is not a function of frequency since it's a constant. We just have KPD alpha AC quantity squared multiplied by N0. And then the 2B appears as a result of this integration. So in essence, the area of this rectangle is this result. Now we can notice the term. We can factor out certain terms here and grab basically our carrier to noise ratio term where delta F max squared equals SN squared and this is our uh, carrier to noise ratio power and hence we have this term here as our carrier to noise ratio at the pre-detection stage